We'll see how good of a deal she gets or if she's able to get the deal that she wants. And your last price is what? The last, last one. Only last, last. No, no. No, no. This one don't have it available. This is good. Yeah, I give you 20. Hey guys, another day. We are in Chinatown. We're gonna walk about and find maybe some breakfast or some coffee. Oh, we had an unexpected visitor this morning. Huh? It wasn't a person though. It was a mouse. Yeah, we had a mouse in the room. We're in the wet market and you can see people, we got here early so people are just getting ready for the day. Preparing their stalls, cutting up the meats and vegetables. Nobody's really buying or selling right now, but he's just getting ready. It's kind of nice to get out early and see people uh, working and beginning the hustle and bustle of a long day. And we're just taking some photographs. Chickens behind me. If you're a little bit squeamish, maybe you shouldn't watch it. I don't like to know where my meat comes from. I just like to eat it. But it's actually interesting to see the process. Chicken being slaughtered. Um, the meat is really fresh. If you want some fresh chicken, this is the place to come. Stopped at the stand and bought a pork roll, which is wrapped in this banana leaf. Let's see if we can open it. That's the tricky part. There we go. It's just hot. You can feel it. It's just sticky rice and pork, right? And maybe an egg. Everything that we like is going to fall apart. It's all moist and steamy. Just going to take a big old bite. Very good. Sticky, ricey, porky. It's exactly what you expect. There's actually some flavor from the leaves that have been infused into it a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna need a napkin. It's 550, which is cheap. And this is gonna be actually really filling. This is a nice breakfast in and of itself. Okay, so we're in this market now, which we were here earlier and it was closed, but everything now has opened up. I put this roof over now. We're just gonna walk through, check out some of the fruits. It's nice to see it open and bustling. All the people looking around, shopping. Naz wants some pants. She's been looking, she actually left her pajamas in uh, Taiwan with a street stall where um, she's trying to talk the uh, vendor down a little bit from his price. She's pretty good about doing that. We'll see how good of a deal she gets or if she's able to get the deal that she wants. And your last price is what? The last, last one. Only last, last. No, no. No, no. This one don't have it available. This is good. Yeah, I give you 20. This one I give you 20. No, no, come on. I give you 20. Just now I have 20 cash. So the original price was 45 and she managed to get it for 20, which is not, um, not your best performance, but it's pretty good. All right, so we are here in Chinatown and things are 
finally starting to pick up. Shops are opening up, the markets are opening up. We've been out here early. We decided to get just a small breakfast because we're gonna eat a lot of food today just to kind of keep us um, satisfied here early in the morning and keep our stomachs a little bit full. We got the uh, pan mi noodles, which were recommended for us to try while we were here in KL. These are dry fried noodles, looks like with a little beef, uh, maybe some mushrooms, and uh, some soup on the side with some spring onion. We'll give these noodles a try. They look delicious. There's some chilies in there. It might be a little spicy, but hey. Spice for breakfast always wakes you up. Mmm, very good. These are, I don't know what these are. They're crispy. Maybe some crispy pork. Got a little herbal flavor to it, and it's definitely spicy, but not too spicy. Got a nice little low-grade burn to it. Ground pork mix mixes nicely with the noodles, which are springy, very savory. There is some chili oil in there too. Mmm, quite nice. And these are mushrooms. I like the nice um, crispy texture on the outside, which goes well with the noodles. Very good. Okay, we have headed indoors now, mostly to get out of the sun, which is starting to get really hot. We're in an indoor market which features a lot of vendors from China here. Also, um, there's a lot of Islamic arts and craft and clothes. So if you want a purse, you want dresses, shirts, wallets, all that kind of stuff, you'll find it here. It's inside, it's cool. We're gonna walk around and do some more shopping. Come on. So we just ate, but we're contemplating eating again because there's so much food here and it just looks delicious. Everything is colorful, smells great. They're getting ready for the lunch hour. There's tons of different foods. Right now we're in the Islamic center of town. We're just loving the diversity of this city. Look at this stuff here, it looks so good. And it's a shame that we only have so much stomach space because there's so much good food to eat and try. It's about five different booths here alone that I really would want to eat at. So uh, what are we going to do? We got the Air Katira in the handle in the carrying case. I think it has some jellies but we don't really know what it is. We're going to try it. Maybe if someone knows what it is and can explain you can uh, leave a message in the comments. It almost tastes like bananas and rice. Yep, That's what it tastes like to me. It's very cool, very creamy. And very refreshing yeah. on a hot day like this. Tonight we're running on the right track. 